If you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. Class of 2009, a surge of emotions lavishes my inner being, and I'm sure the same does to you. Some of you may be thinking, Messi about Jason Affini. Thank God it's finally over. Whereas some of you may already be missing the friends, the family, the environment that we shared at this very campus. Right? As we reflect on the bittersweet moments of the past, we have experienced challenges that have helped to better ourselves, helped to make us stronger. And along the way, we face challenges. Some of us may have seen these challenges as obstacles, but we face them in order to grow. Look at us graduates. Not only have we grown, we have flourished. It is necessary. It is necessary that when faced with adversities, we remain stead strong and remain strong people. Sitting here today is a testimony of that. Now listen, we are indebted to our dedicated and professional lecturers who have made our time at SCLCC surely very benefiting. <laughs> Albert Schweitzer said that in everyone's life, our inner flame begins to die out. But it's when we encounter another human being, that flame is burst into a large fire. So let us be thankful for those people who helped to rekindle our spirits. See, we are at a crossroads in our lives. Some of us have already moved on. Others are still not sure as to what they want to do. So let us share in the excitement of the uncertainties. Should we give up? No! That's right. We should never, ever give up. Let me say, I can. I can. That's right. We must face the future head on. The first black president of the United States, Barack Obama, is enough to inspire us. Graduates, yes, we can. That's right. Rapper T.I. says, it matters not how many times you fall, but how many times you rise. See, this is our time to rise. Our time to rise above the adversities, regardless of the current global situation. Today marks the milestone in the lives of many of us and will forever remain a stain on the fabrics of our minds. See, never will we forget those exuberant moments which made our times at SLCC. Surely exciting and edifying. I mean, who could forget those free periods, which we sometimes did waste in the cafeteria, sitting long enough for Mr. Seria to kindly ask us to exit so someone else could have a seat. I mean, for some of us, that would be embarrassing. But you see, the times that we spent in that building was surely worth it. I mean, some of us love that building so much, we jump over floors and put on YouTube. <laughs> big up, Ron, big up, Ron. Tough love, tough love. Now that's love for a place now, that's love. Big up, Ron. I know to the A-level people, the chaos, the chaos was like a home away from home from some. A place to just chill out, kick off with partners, you know, have some fun, let the time go by. I mean, some of us, I must add, entered here very timid. I wait, Dylan, he said, I'll show you your piece back on our call. Because you see, this is what this institution has done to us. It has helped to mold us in preparation for the tribulations and opportunities ahead. I know for some of us, the road gets really rough ahead. But I implore that we remain strong and believe. Because see, by believing, 
We reset our boundaries. We strengthen our self-worth. And a personal attack becomes once again unacceptable. Right? Each of us then becomes determined, strong-willed persons who know what we want and what will keep us safe. Joel Austin said that it is time to enlarge in your vision and that to live our best life now. We must start looking at life through the eyes of faith. Seeing ourselves rising to new levels. Congratulations to those who have excelled in their respective courses. Somebody give me something out of 1,000. Huh? <laughs> Being here today is a testimony that we all have achieved something and we should be proud of ourselves. For those who are abroad studying, may God be with you and best of luck in your endeavors. I implore us all to go back into the world of struggle, fit for the fight ahead, with a stronger mentality. I think I speak for many when I say that our time spent at LCACC has surely been gratifying. What do you say, people? Yeah. Before I close, I know a lot of y'all know I'm a musician. I want to end it for a little song. But I want you to join along with me. I know it's, very, it's a very simple cho chorus and I know you can catch on. So here it goes now. I want you to sing along, eh? Yeah. It's time to realize the potential that you got inside. So come on everybody, time to rise. I want to hear from your ladies and all your guys. Say I can. I can. Say I can. I can. Say I can. I can. Be what I want to be. Listen, follow your dreams no matter how it seems. We can do it all together, do it as a team. And we'll get through the other circumstances. Be ready for whenever we get those chances. By any means necessary, get up right now, but you're feeling weary. The resources may be limited, but by God's grace, we're going to strive instead. Because it's time to realize all the potential that you got inside. Come on, say everybody, now it's time to rise. Want to hear from your ladies and all your guys. Sing it. Say I, I say I can. Come on, say I can. I can. Ha, say I can. I can. That's right. Be what I want to be. That's right. <laughs> My fellow guardians, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. The God of my serve assures that everything is possible in who, who believes. Yeah. Say we can. we can. Come on, I want the parents. Say we can. we can. Come on, everybody. Say we can. we can. Be what I want to be. Come on. I thank you, everybody. And may God bless you.